general term used for the recording of financial information for a business. This information might be recorded into an Excel spreadsheet or into a specialised accounting package called Myob or Quicken or a, a specialised package that's written especially for a business or it might just be written into books called journals. This financial data is used by a business for its planning, to find out its tax position, to find out who owes it money and also how much money it owes other people. When you're working with financial information, it's really important that you understand some of the terms that is used in the accounting world. If you don't know and understand these terms, it is very difficult for you to understand what's going on around you. These terms are used in the accounting industry, but are also widely used in business. What I would suggest is that you make a list of these terms and get to know them properly and learn them. One of the terms is called debtors or accounts receivable. Both of these terms are used quite commonly in businesses today. One term is older than the other. Debtors has been used as a term for many, many years, but more recently the term account receivable has been used. It's important for you to know and understand that both of these terms mean exactly the same thing. Debtors or accounts receivable is a term used to indicate the people that owe your business money. So debtors or accounts receivable will be the people that you sell to in your business, but when they don't pay for what they buy from you immediately, you'll be recording that information of what they owe you as a debt to your business, and that's where the term debtor or accounts receivable will come from. So it's also important that you recognise in your day-to-day -day dealings within the business who in fact are those debtors to you. Creditors or accounts payable are the people that your business owe money to. They will normally be your suppliers or people that you are buying from on a regular basis that you have a credit arrangement with. Sometimes that credit arrangement might be a 60 or a 90 day account, but they will be people that you deal with regularly and so therefore you need to keep track of how much you owe them. Financial transactions that you'll be recording, you'll know that they have happened because you will receive a source document. A source document is a piece of paper that will prove that a financial transaction has happened. Those source documents are the items that you'll be recording into your accounting system. And again, they provide proof that a financial transaction has happened. Those source documents have to be kept very carefully because they provide that proof. So upon an audit from the Australian Tax Office, you may be required to show that proof of the financial transaction and not just what you've recorded into your accounting system.